guys, I know, I know. Yo, the red cost of living in Zambia. So I must go in. I must dig deep. What's going on? You know, our groceries, renters. I'm going to say this according to how I find them, where I buy them. So I can't say, oh, never would accept you in, in Zambia. But you are supposed to at least have a 3,500 going up. Electricity. So electricity in Zambia has been missing in action. <laughs> we only have power for four hours in a day. Chicken is like 120. Beef has been expensive, guys. Yes. A bag got made from the streets. <laughs> yeah, you can negotiate. You can negotiate. You just negotiate there. You just negotiate. Things are going up. Salaries are being maintained. 1000 in a month for gas. This is everything that you guys ask me. I had drafted something here. doing today hope you're all right i know i know i know i know i was telling mama there's something i wanted to find out from her yeah so i was telling mama there's something that i wanted to find out from her <laughs> i know guys i know i know yo i know and i cut my hair yeah i, I cut my hair anyway that's not the reason why I am here, really. I am not here because of that. I'm here because uh, people ask me to do the updated cost of living in Zambia. Like how much stuff, groceries in short, have become really. Like how much groceries have become. So I decided to do this. I am in, in the car because in the house there are kids. And they're making noise and they won't let me do the video. Like they won't, make, they won't let me do the video. I'm not going to say which day it is in the week, but yeah. So, as I will be breaking down whatever is here, I have made myself a gym. I call it, okay, let me say remote. I can't say that, but yeah. I made myself this. Hmm. It's perfect. It's actually perfect, yeah. So that I can explain for you guys nicely. Like I should, I must go in detail. Yeah, I, I know I need to go in details. So I must go in. I must dig deep. Uh, a friend of mine says to Biliwile. So we have to get in there. He told me to Biliwile means to, we have to dive in it. Like we should get deep into it. Hmm, my lips are cracking. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Because a lot of people have been asking me how I'm surviving, what's going on, you know. So, yeah, I decided to do that. Like, things have really become expensive in Zambia. Like, almost everything is expensive. Almost everything is... It has just gone up. Yo. So, yeah, I will try to be as brief as I can. Um, so, I took uh, points down. And also, a lot of people ask me about power, groceries, renters, uh, phones, uh, maid, transportation, if you do therapy, uh, Netflix, that's entertainment. So this is like Gear TV, Netflix, music, whatever you do. And also, like I should, I, I should also find out how much cooking oil, sugar, and salt. <laughs> have been priced so yeah um i'm just gonna do that for you today but if you have any other questions if you have any other questions don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comment section i will be able to respond to you so i'm gonna say this according to how i find them where i buy them so if you're zambian and you won't agree with these um prices please you can as well just comment down below and tell them what and tell my audience how much you buy these things at where you shop from. So some of these, I'm going to be mentioning the shops where I get stuff. Some of them I will not be mentioning. So maybe all of them, maybe I will mention. Especially if, but I, anyway, I'll be as brief as I can. If I can mention, you get it. If I won't mention, at least the amount is going to be there. 
So I'm actually going to start from um, a very important thing, roof. So I wish I had a pen because they are like this. I was just getting um, like, there's a comment on my YouTube channel. So people were just like, I asked people to, to, to send whatever they want me to, to share. So I was just writing from, it was just random anyway. So let me do rent, then I'll do groceries, then I'll start coming down with that. Anyway, so in Lusaka, if you're looking for accommodation in these decent places, I think it starts from, I don't know. Okay, that's this is according to me, like I've already put this, this is according to me. So if you're looking for like decent accommodation in Lusaka, in this very, I can't say all neighborhoods except here in, in Gambia, but uh, yeah. So you are supposed to at least have a 3,500 going up. So I was paying 4,500, but now I am paying 4,700. That is for rent only. And then in dollars, that's like about $180. Per month, that's per month. Mm -hmm. So there is no garbage here. I pay garbage separately. So this is just um, rentals, and also I pay for electricity on its own. And then groceries. I used to give groceries for like two thousand five hundred, two thousand. That is uh, uh groceries uh, one thousand and uh, relief uh, one thousand. So I just put uh, groceries. 2000 but now it has gone up to like 3500 and that is like um 133 dollars per month so um for groceries i sometimes get a lot that do not actually finish in that one month it sometimes they end in another month so i just stop up on that like this is what i'm doing like this is what i do me as me this is what I do. So if you have another way of doing yours, you can still share in the comment section with whoever is here. They can learn a thing or two. And then uh, power. That's electricity. So electricity in Zambia has been missing in action. <laughs> it's not, it's just coming according to the Zesco vibes. So Zesco is actually the company that supplies power to all the creeds in Lusaka, in Zambia, actually in Zambia. So for electricity, I was paying, um, I was buying units for 500. So those I can buy for 500, they're going to enter in another month. So that month, it will be up to me to either buy for 500 again or reduce the amount because I have units, they just find each other. So now I reduce them for two, I reduce them to 200. That's $7 because power has been cutting in Zambia like the power has been cutting for I have to consult babe power has been going for how long okay so at first it was six hours now it has increased to 12 hours I think that's in your area so in base area it has increased to 12 hours here in Lusaka it's like 17 hours some people they're saying 20 hours because they only have power for four hours in a day then the 20 hours they do not have it so yeah that so that also uh, uh, brings me to the point that uh, whenever i'm buying like relish i don't buy in bulk because of this same electricity thing so i have to hold on to money and get sometimes you know like maybe today i get relish fresh relish the next day we eat drives. The next day I buy something because if I buy in bulk, they're gonna go bad. Electricity has been cutting. Electricity is tripping just like your boyfriends, your ex boyfriends. <laughs> okay, um, so that takes me to entertainment. So for entertainment, I have also downgraded. I was paying for six hundred. I think it's six hundred and twenty DSTV compact plus. But now I'll, I downgraded it to family. Family is like 220 because no one watches TV here. 
and also you know we just won't work when electricity is there because electricity has been cutting um that's like eight dollars yeah and also netflix netflix i watch it every day i can watch it on my phone i can watch it at, on my pc so i've still maintained that one that's um seven dollars 99 cents so i just ate eight eight dollars and then uh there's my phone so i used to get um data for like 200 and uh i've increased it to 500 because um, they've increased the packages also. I use Airtel, so they have increased the packages. That's for bundles and minutes. That's um nineteen dollars. And I'm sure you guys know that I have a helper. I'm not going to really say this, but yeah, I have a helper. I pay her a certain at least it's minimum wage. <laughs> I don't know how much is minimum wage. How much is minimum wage in Zambia? But at least I pay her that, okay? And this, yeah, I pay her that. In fact, I pay her above that. But I can't say that. But I pay her. Mm -hmm, because she does a very amazing job for me. My sister, my sister's kid. And then I, I this takes me to, I don't know if you guys do this, but this takes me to therapy. I at least see... A therapist once in once in a month so i used to pay 250 per session but now it has gone to 450 so yeah i need it everyone needs that uh that's 18 dollars sometimes i pay sometimes i do not pay because someone pays all right so yeah that's uh, i think this is these are the these are the main things that people ask me to find out so there are also other people that ask me to find out um how much some things were costing like some things so you guys asked me about a bag of millimil a 25 kg so a 25 kg used to be i think hmm, how much was it babe no okay when okay maybe um i really don't want to say in the green party time because i don't want people to come for me really okay but it was around 150 but uh zambia was hit with a very very bad <laughs> i don't know if i can call it a drought anyway but yeah it's a, it was a drought it was very bad like it didn't rain the the past rain season so things have just gone up so a milli a 25 kg of millimil now is about 350 between 330 to 400 right depending on the brand that you are getting and that's our staple food by the way that's our staple food by the way so a five liter cooking oil, five liters cooking oil is about two hundred and fifty, right? It's about two hundred and fifty a five liter. So it also depends with which one you are going for. Two hundred and fifty. A two point five is one hundred and thirty, one forty. You can get it in, yeah. And then um, 2 kgs sugar is about 70. I don't know how much a 10 kg is because I really do not get that. But a 2 kg sugar is like um, 70 kwacha. Um, um, I think you can just... For this, I didn't put... I didn't calculate how much. But I'm sure you can... Yeah. I think the sugar is like 1... Maybe three dollars yeah and then uh you asked me about salt a two kgs of salt um uh, i think that's about 30 quarter that's a dollar yeah less than two dollars let me say less than two dollars yeah so that's that oh 
So someone asked me about the chicken, meat, and vegetables. So vegetables are like um, between five to ten quarter a bunch, depending on where you're gonna get them. If you get them from these decent supermarkets like Melissa, Shoprite, they're gonna be like seven quarter, seven quarter, ten quarter. That's like less than a dollar, less than one dollar. And then a meat, meat, chicken is like 120 if you buy from these guys that actually keep chickens. It's like one chicken is 120 quarter. But for beef, beef has been expensive, guys. Yes, beef, beef has been expensive. A lot of people are, are, eat, are opening restaurants, so they get a lot of uh, those nice parts like um, chuck, sheen, oxtail. So, uh, yeah, it has just become expensive. Yo, it has become expensive. Maybe it's about um, $4 a kg. Yeah, I think $4 a kg. That's like 100 quarter. Like four dollars per kg, and um, goat meat. Uh, goat meat. I really do not know because I do not buy goat meat from the supermarkets. I buy from the streets. I buy goat meat from the streets <laughs> because I'm from the streets, <laughs> right, babe? Yeah. 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 We are from the streets. So we buy goat meat from the streets. We maybe maybe sometimes they even mix with a with a with a with a chihuahua <laughs> to make uh, that's that's just that's just a joke. So yeah, uh, we get um we usually get goat meat from the streets, and there you can negotiate. You can negotiate. You just negotiate there. You just negotiate. Whatever money you have, they, they'll make sure they pack something for you. So, yeah. And uh, vegetables. That's the last one, vegetables. Mm. Vegetables and juice. Now I've seen that like, juice is vegetable. Oh, vegetables. I've already said vegetables. A bunch of vegetables like rape. Cabbage is like a dollar. Cucumbers. Depending on where you're going to get them. Uh, in the market, they are like maybe five quarter one, but if you get from the that's less than a dollar. If you get them from the supermarkets, they put them on a tray nicely for you, maybe four, five, six, depending on the size. Then you can get those maybe for one dollar. Yeah, that's like 27 quarter sometimes, 25 quarter sometimes, but it's everything, everything is gonna find. But if you go to the market, you can still negotiate and tell them how much you have. And they're going to fix something for you. So juice. Juice. Um, a two liters of soda is like one dollar. And then bread is bread is like less than one one dollar actually. So a soda, two liters of soda is like. One dollar. That's like twenty five quarter, twenty four ninety nine, depending on where you're gonna get them. Pick and pay, Shoprite, Melissa, and then bread. Bread is like less than one dollar. If you get them from the supermarkets, also, I think everywhere now, bread is just like that. Yeah, bathing soap. Bathing soap. To I don't know. I don't know which one so unless you tell me which one maybe i can find out and just leave a comment down below just just tell me which one the number one that people use or which washing powder so washing powder depending on which one you use uh also i think maybe a kg is like how, babe, when we went to that market, how much was washing powder? One kg, two kg. One hundred. Uh huh. 
Okay. That's one kg. That's one kg. Are you serious? I buy, I buy, I buy two kgs for one hundred and sixty. Yeah, so I usually get one kg, one, I mean two kgs for one hundred and sixty. This is what I'm saying, guys. Like, depending on where you get stuff, like, just go where you you feel like you can go and get stuff. But yo, uh, the economy has really been doing us very bad. It's biting almost everyone. Things are going up. Salaries are being maintained. So, <sighs> yeah, it is what it is. Fuel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, in fact, so I had put, trans I don't know if I mentioned transportation, but anyway. So if I did not mention it, or if I mentioned it, I'm going to mention it again. So fuel is, um, fuel, has, fuel, fuel has increased. Fuel has increased, guys. I was actually telling Bay today in the morning, but when I was putting gas yesterday, I noticed that it's at thirty-one fifty-eight. But when we went to Livingston, when when we went to Livingston just a, over the weekend, we were in Livingston. It was like I put fuel. It didn't make any difference. Oh, okay. It made it made. It didn't make any difference anyway. Like where it was, plus where it went. So when I checked, it was like thirty three forty something. So I don't know if they didn't change or I, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so for transportation, I drive a two point four liter vehicle. I know, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking, but we won't go there. <laughs> but we won't go there anyway. So um, I use when i was driving a small car you guys know that small car when i was driving that car i was using like 500 for two weeks so i was putting aside 1000 in a month for gas that's work back work back then if i am if i have plans over the weekend i was also just putting aside um some 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 money for for the same but now now with this vehicle guys with this with this vehicle with this vehicle it's like 500 a week. I know. Just Monday to Friday. I know. I know. I know what you are saying. So I ha here I had put leisure because someone someone asked me that question. Like with the way we've been hearing about um, how things have become expensive in Zambia. Like how are you managing... Are you still taking yourself out? You know, you know, like, do you do what? Do you do what? Um, so I have, you guys know that I have a full-time job. I have a full-time job and I love it very much. I love it so much. And I, yeah, I actually do put aside some money for leisure. What I usually do is um, whenever there's a holiday or whenever I'm on leave, I take some days off. That's the time I used to travel and make content like travel content so yeah i put aside money for leisure every month i put aside money for leisure every month so every month i put aside at least at least at least one thousand kwacha for that like at least so that when it's time for me to travel and go so i put it i can't say it's a savings account but it's an investment i put it somewhere with people that can use it and then they give me like um interest so it should be growing instead of me just putting it in the bank and um it's just there it's not making anything on top not making babies on top of it so yeah that's what i usually do um i think this is all this is everything that you guys asked me i had drafted something here so this is this is everything that you guys really um this is everything that you guys ask me but if you have more questions please just leave a comment down below down below i haven't done my nose because last time i went to do the nail i don't know what what happened what what happened but my nails have become weak really like they have become so so weak so i'm just gonna let them breathe 
for now. So yeah, guys, like I mentioned, if you have any questions, any questions at all that you would like to ask me, come to my Instagram. Whenever I post a picture, I usually post a lot of questions there. If you want me to do a video about something or if you want, like, just, just come. Follow me on Instagram at queen underscore lika underscore Facebook queen lika TikTok queen lika. So, just come follow me. Let's grow together. And, yeah, I'm going to see you in my next. I love you all.